Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's see how we can use the root test to test for convergence or divergence here in this series. Okay, so we would take an nth root of all of this, I'm taking it of this in the series. So let's just take the term of the series, take an nth root of it. So that would become on the top, five to the one over n times n to the two over n. On the bottom, that would become um, two to the uh, just two n plus one. Now, as we limit to infinity, we know this part goes to infinity on the bottom the, in the denominator. The top, hmm, well, we know that this right here, see the, the exponent here will go to zero, one over something big. So five to that, would that would go to one. And so what we're left with is, what does this do? Now, if this happened to go to a, speci to a specific number, then we'd know that this whole thing would go to zero. And, and what's the goal of the root test is comparing it to a geometric series where an R value is in, is in question. <clears throat> and we're looking at the R value of zero. And that is amazing because that definitely is less than one in absolute value. And so then we would end up getting convergence. That would be good. So what we're left with is investigating this part right here. So let's take a look at that. <clears throat> That's really where the question lies. n to the 2 over n, as n approaches infinity, what does that limit to? If it limits to a number, we're good. If it limits to infinity, there would be more work to do because this part top would go to infinity, this bottom part would go to infinity, and then we need to use a L'Hopital's rule here in this particular fraction by taking a derivative of this top over a derivative of this bottom. This top would take a little bit of work to do since we have um, we have an expression in a base of an exponent and inside an exponent itself. However, in this particular case, we'll be lucky and this will just go to a number. So let's take a look at that and look at that limit. <clears throat> so n to the two over n. n to the two over n. Let's take a limit here. So n approaches infinity. Now, <clears throat> in order to combat this limit, Natural log would be nice to use because that would bring an exponent down. Um, so what if we did e to the natural log of all of this? That Now that's the same thing as we started with since these undo each other, if you put one inside the other. But now we can take the limit outside of this natural log and just sit it right there. So this would be equal to e to the, to the limit then approaches infinity of natural log of n to the 2 over n. Now this 2 over n can come outside the natural log. And when it does, you could think of it like this. So, so let's just say this is equal to e to the limit as n approaches infinity of, we can have 2, 2 over n coming out. I'm going to write it like this. Natural log of n. See the two over n is on the outside, but when I multiplied it, I just wrote it like a fraction here. Now notice that this top goes to um, infinity, and this bottom goes to infinity. So now we can use we're set up to use L'Hopital's rule. We used a natural log, so we could turn exponentiation into a fraction, where maybe we could use a rule like L'Hopital's. So now we can take the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom, consider that limit. So E natural limit, the limits are the same. The ratio of derivatives have the same limit as the, as the, um, the fraction itself. If we have an infinity over infinity or a zero over zero situation. So derivative of the top is two over N. The derivative of the bottom is just one. Take a limit here that this part looks like this goes to zero. So we have E to the zero which is one, a number, which is what we wanted. Okay, um, and that tells us that um, in this original situation that we had before, we had a number on the top over 
um, something that went to infinity, which tells us that the overall limit was zero. So the R value, which is, was the R value or the limit value, which happened to be less than one. So then we know in the original series, we actually do have convergence. Thanks for watching.